At first I was thinking of compiling 10 minutes of that captivating footage and just posting that as a video, but I also want to dive into the science behind this fascinating effect called Marangoni bursting, and how you can recreate this at home with regular household liquids. In fact, if you start experimenting by mixing water and various concentrations of isopropanol alcohol right now and depositing it on a bed of oil, you'll be able to recreate this effect before this video even finishes. But before getting to that, let's understand what exactly is happening first. Marangoni flow is a fluidic effect driven by a surface tension gradient between the interface of two liquids. A simple example of a Marangoni flow using this principle of surface tension gradients can be seen with some pepper flakes deposited on a dish of water. Soap has a much lower surface tension than water, so when a drop of soap is added to the center, the highest surface tension at the edge pulls the water molecules and the pepper outwards. A similar example can be seen with milk, food colouring and soap. Now that we've seen how surface tension gradients can lead to outwards Marangoni flows, let's look at the visually stunning case of Marangoni bursting. The reaction is achieved by mixing water, isopropanol alcohol, a couple drops of food colouring and depositing a small amount of this mixture on a bed of oil. In this case I'm using vegetable oil, but most cooking oils should be fine. I'm not going to give you the exact ratios of water to alcohol that I used, instead I encourage you to experiment for yourself and slightly change the ratio each time. This fascinating phenomena was first documented in scientific literature a couple years ago. Like the earlier demonstrations of pepper, water and soap, this demonstration also relies on surface tension. But you also need to consider vapour pressure too. Isopropanol alcohol has a much higher vapour pressure than water. This means that it evaporates at a much faster rate. It also has a lower surface tension than water. Thus at the edge of the mixture, the alcohol evaporates quickly, resulting in a lower alcohol concentration at the edge relative to the center. This lower concentration of alcohol means that the surface tension at the edges is stronger, and so the interior mixture is pulled outwards via Marangoni flows. As liquid collects at the outer rim, surface perturbations create instabilities and long fingers begin to protrude radially outwards. These fingers break into tiny droplets due to the plateau Rayleigh instability. This instability is fascinating and truthfully deserves a video of its own. But for this video to remain concise, it suffices to say that the plateau Rayleigh instability describes how a column of liquid subject to periodic perturbations will decay into spherical droplets. Together, the outwards Marangoni flows and the pinching plateau Rayleigh instability results in the stunning creation of hundreds of smaller droplets. For those of you who have made it this far in the video, thank you. I encourage you to experiment for yourself and try creating this at home. Play around with different concentrations and see how this affects the size of the droplet and the rate of reaction and let me know the results in the comments down below. Feel free to subscribe and follow me on Instagram for early release footage. In the meantime, I'll leave you with some of my favourite shots.